WVTC Radio Detroit. You can find us on Facebook, YouTube, our website, www.wvtcradio.com, or download our WVTC app from the Play Store for Android users and the App Store for iPhone users. are tuned to WVTCRadioDetroit.com to the Sandy Rose Show with your host Sandy Rose where you'll hear the finest in gospel music, insightful conversation, and guests that will enhance you. The Sandy Rose Show can be heard every Monday and Tuesday from 5 to 7 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Pacific, live on YouTube. So get your pencil, paper, and shouting shoes and get ready for today's broadcast. Why not text a friend or tag a friend and tell them to listen to? The Sandy Rose Show. When you enter life apart from God and His grace, that's isolation when God comes to see you that's visitation when he unveils the mysteries of eternity that's revelation When you think of his marvelous goodness, that's meditation. When you expect to see him, that's anticipation. When you feel his spirit moving in your heart, that's motivation when you share in kingdom building that's participation when you tell of his goodness and his mercy that's recitation when you glorify and praise him that's celebration and when all of these belong to your experience you can't help but to shout oh you may or may not do it the way others do it but you'll do something you'll open up you will let go you will give vent to the spirit You'll let the overflow flow. You may not jump up and down, but you'll shed a tear. You may not cry, but you'll pat a foot. You may not pat a foot, but you'll clap your hands. Something will happen. Something will move you. Something will touch you. And you'll feel something. So you can say, praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise God that spoke to Mother's Earth and she dressed up in a green garment. He rolled this terrestrial ball into space, baptized it with a liquid mist, laid out the green carpet on the earth, tacked it down with daffodils, snapdragons, lilies, roses, and trees. He ordered a variety of blooming flowers and transfigured it into marvelous attraction. 
Praise God, the one that deferred the counsel of the Holy Trinity and organized an angelic host to furnish music while the glory of his father flooded the hills of Bethlehem, stepped on a heavily made airplane and rolled down in a low ground of sorrow, leaped into the Virgin Mary and was born one day in the city of David, wrapped in swaddling clothes and laid in a manger. Praise God who makes me walk like I'm rich and I don't have to have a dime in the bank. Praise God who allows me to sleep on a pillar of peace and a cushion of confidence. He opens doors that no man can shut and if I'm running a little late, he'll hold them open until I get there. Praise God, he's our rock, our strength, our hope. Our Lord, our Savior, our all and all. Praise God, who said to the triune, Let us make man, and the word let went into action, and God stooped down, gathered dust together, piled it up in the earth, molded it, and made it like he wanted it. And when he was satisfied with that, nostrils, the breath of life, and man became a living soul. This is why we praise God, from whom all blessings flow. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We praise your name. You're worthy to be praised. Cadets, but with Christ, there is no one who can do what he does. Nobody can give like him. Nobody can bless you like him. Nobody can give you joy like him. Nobody can lift you up like him. Nobody can give you happiness like him. Nobody can offer you hope like him. Nobody can mend your brokenness like him. Nobody can guide you through your dark days like him. Nobody can inspire you during your tough times like him. Nobody can help you like him. Nobody can strengthen you like him. Nobody can inspire you like him and nobody can love you like him because his love is not common his love is immaterial you know in capitalistic society sister beard people determine love and loyalty by offering gifts uh, with that or uh, with that or with what they can purchase provide and present to other people Generally, unfit mothers and deadbeat dads and insensitive spouses employ this measure so as to make up for their own lack of affection, time, and because of their absence in the lives of their children and their spouses. On the other hand, those on the receiving end are just as brainwashed and programmed and therefore mistake love for commodities. They believe love is expressed by receiving certain things. Foxes and furs, diamonds and pearls, bling bling, and what the hip hop generation calls paper. They determine it with brand names like Gucci and St. John, Albert Nippon, Louis Vuitton, Coach, and Michael Coors, Dooney, and Burke. Pandora and Tiffany, they have to identify it by labeling Jags and Benzes and Bentleys, but Jesus gave the immaterial. He gave his life. All others concentrate on the material, but the material gets old. The material sometimes fades. The material loses its value. The question of the ages is, what can wash away my sin? 
Gucci and St. John can't do it. Albert Nippon and Louis Vuitton can't do it. Coach and Michael Kors can't do it. Dooney and Burke can't do it. Pandora and Tiffany can't do it. No Jag, no Benz, no Bentley, no Maserati can do it. And furthermore, none of the old mentioned above put any resources in your community to help you get up to another level anyway to prove any love. I've got an answer for the question what can wash away my sins nothing but the blood of Jesus What separates the day?
yes, sir. <laughs> that was a goodie. That is a goodie. Yeah, that is. That's a goodie. Listen, there's one statement in there that is profound. Okay. And that right. is, if God is dead, show me where his body lies. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Baby, that's show right. Hit me. I was ready to holler. I said, I never paid that line any attention. Show mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I can, we can take you to the mother. We can, we, right. We and can we can go. Come on, we, somebody. But show we can go generalize them, have a picnic at the grave site. Show body lies. If you can show me where it is. Not a pre yep. It did something for me today. Woo. Come on, <laughs> Pastor Jackie. Come on, Pastor Jackie. It did something for me. I'm going to tell you. Show me. Yes, I was sir. gonna tell you, girl. Show me. <laughs> you show from me Missouri? Where the body lies. If he don't exist, show me where the body. He did. Show me. Show uh, me. Yeah. Show me. <laughs> you can't show. They me can't that. show you. They can't no, show. You. They can't. They can show, show you an empty tomb. That's right. Where it was. <laughs> yeah, where it was. Where, where it he was. was. They where still was. looking at it. Here we are mm -hmm. talking about. Uh, centuries later, they are still looking in that hole. <laughs> they when they stop looking, looking in the hole, back. Back, <laughs> and he still ain't there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He is really my come my on, pastor somebody. used to say, "Come on, somebody, give him some praise." Glory. Yeah. <laughs> my pastor used to say, "What but God, when man made it, you have to fix on it every day or sometime." But what God made, you don't have to fix on it. He said he put the sun out there. He said, what shop is the sun ever been in to be fixed? Huh. No, what shop has the moon been in? Any of the stars or clouds. <laughs> or the clouds. Or a cloud. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. And they can make artificial turf, but a, a real blade of grass. <laughs> man, yep. they can make, <laughs> listen, I, when I lived in my townhouse, the there's a, a hill that the kids play on that was catacorn from my front door. Great big hill of grass. That's what it was. Had a set of swings on top. And, you know, in the one time the kids slid down with their sleds and things. It caught fire one summer. Oh, right. Bur just burn up. Just was. And I was like, where's somebody going to plant some seeds up there? <laughs> because it was awful to look at. It was just awful. All of a sudden, one day, I looked and the hill was beautifully green with fresh grass. Yeah, Nobody yeah. had done nothing. Nature let it rain a little bit. The next thing you know, fresh grass. I mean, it was swimming, weed free and everything. It was beautiful. <laughs> I said, oh, is that what we need to do? Burn the grass up and let fresh Fresh grass grew up on that hill just as beautiful. You can't you can't beat what God has done. You can't yeah, do yeah. it. Yeah. You can't do it. You can't do it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm Pastor Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> and you are Yes, you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That was beautiful. Woo! Okay, and you are <laughs> Teresa. Yeah. Teresa Acton. I am Richard Darrell Nichols All from right. All California right. by way of Gary, Indiana. All, All right. right. All right. And um, I, that that's something um, we had a comment from uh, Donald Weber who said that the Sopranos sound like the Sopranos at Victory Baptist <laughs> over there in, in, in uh, Los Angeles. Yes, and yes, that's yes. where uh, Rodina's, uh, uh, Dr. Preston's mother um, she used to play over there and Thurston Frazier. So yeah, that's wow. Well, but they were just they were just perfect. I mean, it's like no uh, extra note right. here or there. They were just completely balanced and blended. That's that how it's supposed to be. Yep, that was the Coraliers. That yeah. was the Coraliers. Dino Vales and the Coraliers. Yep. And wow. we we thank God for that. We also saw a question out in the <laughs> 
in the in the comment section that said and and by mistake usually um and and there is a pattern to the show on mondays we'll play praise god on tuesdays we'll play um how great thou art well it somehow today we got mixed up and we played how great thou art i mean we played uh Praise God. The other one. Yeah, praise God. <laughs> well, somebody was asked, asked the question, what is she saying? And um, that's a that's a good a good question. Um, we were talking about having a contest today. <laughs> and that's a really, really good question for the contest. And they said, is she saying a pillar a piece or and what she says, you'll be able to rest on um, a pillow. Pillow, pillow of pe- cushion, of a cushion, yeah, cushion of confidence, confidence and a pillow of peace. Yeah. You know, she could throw them together now. Yeah. She could, she could put them together. Now that's good rest. If that's rest good rest. A pillow of pe- that's good rest, babe. And a cushion that's of confidence. <laughs> and a cushion of confidence. Come on. <laughs> but you know what I like? I like um you you can uh, be rich and don't have a di- don't have a dime in the bank. <laughs> so he'll make you walk like you're rich and you don't like have to have rich. a dime in the bank. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then and you put Sally on behind her and he he fixed that thing. He fixed it. He fixed it. <laughs> he fixed Sally it. Fixed it. <laughs> yeah, that Tellus Chapman. Um, he <laughs> no, 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 he's no. something. He is something to he work said, with. He said, Name all the designers. Yeah, yeah. He named them all. He did. He named them all. But then said they'll do nothing for your neighborhood. Oh, I said, Ooh. <laughs> no, he, he took you all the all. way there. Yes, he did. <laughs> Ooh. You buy their stuff, but they don't do nothing for your neighborhood. They don't do nothing for you. So hmm. consider that. Now who How said all you? those words, sister girl? That who, was who um, Pastor, talk? that was Pastor Talis Chapman. No, I'm not talking Gap- about that one. I'm not telling the Oh, the first one? That was Dr. Right. Edna Tatum. All right now. That's what I'm talking about. We're gonna talk about gospel uh, music workshop of America. Talk about Edna Tatum. <laughs> then the commentator. Yes, yes. She was yeah. the voice of the gospel music workshop of America. Mm-hmm. And um, you know, just listening to her story, and if you haven't heard it, you can go online and get the um and, and watch the video, her story, Edna Tatum. And she tells herself how she got started and mm-hmm. and all of that. Um and uh and it one thing that was amazing, and we talked about it last week with someone else. And they said that it's um, it's amazing how your gift, you may not recognize what your yeah. gift is because number one, your gift is not for you. Right. No. It's for somebody no. else to enjoy. Right. So if you right. are like, you know, you get up singing and, and it's like, well, I didn't hear all that. And you know, mm-hmm. and the folks are like, oh, 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 oh and, and, and because it's not for you. Right, you know, it, the, your gift is to bless somebody else. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And let remember. me add also what, what I like about Edna's story is that uh, you have to always be ready and prepared. Now she was thrown into that announcing uh, commentator because someone didn't show up. Yeah, and I think right. Annette Thomas made as told her, "Gone, they need someone to speak," and she was ready <laughs> for the job. Yes. Yes, and you're you're absolutely right. You always have to be ready because you don't know um, when people won't show up, you know. Right. And and my story was basically like that. But I used to pray that uh, Bishop Craig didn't come in church <laughs> so, I could, so I could direct the choir. I'd be like, Lord, make him late. Amen. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I, can, so I, can, he, I want him to come, but just make him late. Make him late. Make him late <laughs> so I can direct so I can bring the choir in. So I mean, you know, you get a lot from sometimes just being there. And yeah, you have to understand, um, just be some places because a lot of opportunities that I've gotten, I've got them because somebody didn't show up. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Or because you showed up. Yep. Yep. <laughs> nah. That's nah. That's a good one. 
because you yep. was in the right place. Mm -hmm. right but now. I mean, you know, but and a lot prepared. of times, yeah, uh, but mm -hmm. a lot of times, you know, because I mean, JD would call, come here. It, 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 and I'm like, how that song go? How that song go? You know, so, you know, you just, it, it, sometimes you just be in the right spot in the right time. And the Lord already knows how he's going to do, you know, mm -hmm. he already know. But I, mm -hmm. I promise you, I used to pray. I would be like, make Bishop Craig late so I can bring that choir in. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think he, he, uh, he uh, prepares you and uh, puts you in places for when it's time. Now, when you want it to be there, it's not time. No. You just, you just have to stick around. And a lot of times you have to understand some of this is preparation period. And right. he's preparing you for the big show. Your first one, not her, she said, you know, I asked her the question on the video. I said, um, when was your first recording? And she said, well, no, her first, first time announcing for Cleveland or something like that. And she said her first time out was at Carnegie Hall. Right. And I'm like, you started at Carnegie. You started at Carnegie. <laughs> so it, but obviously, no, she did not start at Carnegie Hall. But you know, it worked. It, you know, if you go back and look at it, she worked her way up. And mm -hmm. then the first time she got a real big break, it was at Carnegie Hall. But she was ready because she had been practicing. You know. Right all the time so and, um, and people people stopped didn't show up when she was there that's right that's right mm -hmm. so you know um despise not humble beginnings if you mm -hmm. don't like the church or you think it's too small or whatever it is just despise not humble beginnings mm -hmm. you know i was gonna say Carnegie hall was my first time here in etna and i was back in indiana and uh when I came to California, I had to find that lady with that voice. Yes. And I, I found that James Cleveland's church. Mm -hmm. And she was up. It was uh, They had the 7 o'clock broadcast at night. And she was commentating then. I said, there go that lady. <laughs> <laughs> that, that be her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's right. Her. And, and I mean, and that first record like that um her first narration i think was um with the fourth of may which is uh, annette may thomas's group but um this one when she went to carnegie hall with reverend cleveland that one got a grammy right mm, okay. <laughs> and she had just as much on that it was a double uh right, double right. double record i mean you know just she had just as much to say on there as he did mm. She had just as much airtime as the the okay. as the choir did, and which was amazing. How Reverend Cleveland he might as well said he was presenting her. Yeah, <laughs> but what I liked about it is that when he uh, when she said that he never asked her what she was going to say, he just trusted right. that yes. she was going to to do a good job. So I mm -hmm. thought that's nice. Yeah, that, that was, and I think he did that with a lot of people that he knew. Um, you know, once he knew what was in you, just like when mm -hmm. the Lord shows you things, he, he'll show you, I know you can do this and you just have to have confidence in yourself and mm -hmm. he'll show someone else that's maybe mm -hmm. in charge. You come do this and you be, I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't right. just trust. Mm -hmm. If you trust the person in charge and you trust that they're hearing from God, just do mm -hmm. it. It'll be right. okay. The first now, wedding. Good, I good example for that would be uh, Keith Pringle mm -hmm. on that. Uh, I'm not tired. No, I feel no way tired. James Cleme, I think, said he was losing his voice, and then he called Keith, come up and help. <laughs> help me, Keith. <laughs> yeah, sing it for me, Keith. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And and um, watching Keith's interview. He's funny with that because he says that, you know, after a while, he said, I started getting the big head. <laughs> he said, it got good to me. He said, and before he knew it, he was out singing and had taken the mic and was going right, down. Right. The <laughs> he said, and one time he was out there, he said, Reverend Cleveland just cut the song off. He said, you yeah, doing too much. He said, I said, okay. And he went on back to his seat. <laughs> But That's I mean, you huh? know, we learn a lot. But he said, no, nah, baby, you're doing too much. You're doing too mm -hmm. much. 
So we learn. We live yeah, and we learn. We do. So um and it's a good thing, you know. Mm -hmm. there's, there's nothing mm -hmm. wrong with learning. I was going to say that my first wedding that I directed, um, I I probably was nineteen or twenty when I did it. And it was because the directress had a heart attack. Mm -mm. Oh, wow. The the night before the wedding. Mm -mm. So to the hospital. Yep, the mm -hmm. person in charge had a heart attack, and and they and I'm I'm and this was in Cincinnati, Ohio. I wasn't even in Michigan. It was in Cincinnati, Ohio. And my girlfriend said, "Oh, Jackie can handle it. Don't worry about a thing. Jackie can handle it." I said, mm -hmm. "I have mm -hmm. a woman." That's how, that's just how that works. <laughs> you know, yeah. what she said, Jack, you ain't got to worry about that. You ain't got to worry about your reception. Look, Jackie can fix it. She can handle it. Don't worry about it. And and I did. I I it went in the it. corner and prayed right quick. God, I don't know what I'm doing, but help me. <laughs> you know. And then and your memory. God brings things back to your memories. You've seen this before. <laughs> yeah, blah 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 blah. And I've been doing them ever since. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, yeah um, Roosevelt say said, I remember the first time I directed What a Fellowship. Wow, that was big. Now, that yes. was big. I mean, in fellowship and you directing that, he said, I was put on the spot by Mama Lou. Um, I didn't mm. even rehearse it. Wow, that was big. Wow. In fellowship, yeah. singing What a Fellowship. Right. <laughs> There's some. Yeah, yeah, that's big. And I, I can remember the first time that I was called up to direct, and it was by Tommy. And um, he was like, we were in rehearsal, um, youth rehearsal. He said, Sam, come do this. And I said, do what? <laughs> <laughs> what you talking about? <laughs> and I mean, and from then on, and a lot of it, too, comes from faithfulness. Mm -hmm. If mm -hmm. they know that you're going to be there, they can count on you um, to be somewhere, to be there, always present, know the material. They can count on you. You get a lot of opportunities like that. Exactly. If you're, if I know, well, Richard will be here. He'll start. He'll know how to start. Just go ahead and start. Where's the button? Yeah. No. <laughs> I, I mean, unmute yourself. <laughs> unmute yourself. Oh, look at yeah. you. <laughs> Am I <laughs> muted? No. No, you okay, always okay. say that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So, I mean, don't, I used to get a little miffed about being put on the spot. Um, but I, I understood after a while how it was because I would be like, well, JD, if you just give me a little time, uh, let me learn the song or let me at least roll it around in my mind because I'm thinking so many other things because my mind is just not on music i got work i got this i got that and at that time i was in school you know and so it was like and he said i said come up so, here now and uh sandy what do you mean you wanted to learn the song you knew the words but you you needed to know what you need to go over it in your mind because yeah. i i direct a little bit differently than a lot of other people i feed the choir I feed them words, the words okay. you know, because I don't want them to get up there and say, Ooh, what, what, what? I right, feed right. them the words and they do with it. Your, with your hands on your hip, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, you know, if I can't feature the words, if I don't remember what they are, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. or, or how the song goes, you know, mm -hmm. so just give me five, 10 minutes, <laughs> you know. And, knowing, and don't forget about knowing all the parts. That's right. Mm -hmm. When you direct, right. you need to know all the parts. That's because right. if a part fall off, you know, if you, you got to fall out, you got to be able to. You, you got to go in, or they're like, what, you what's, my, note? what's my note? And you I got to be able to tell you. Yeah. Uh, that's your note. Yeah. Because yeah. I walk yeah. while you're directing the rest of it. I'm like, Sopranos, what y'all saying? And this is why the song was caught on. Because yeah. you're, you're not going to stop, you know, and you get in front of them and. This is your, but if you don't know the process, now see, I used to tell Tommy, look, I have a hard enough time knowing the alto part with our music. 
I don't know the soprano and tenor. So don't be asking me to direct nothing. Jack, you gonna direct for me? No, I'm not directing for you because I only know the alto part. <laughs> Period. I don't know what nobody else is doing. Yeah, and Neither I mean, one. you know, I, I just like to be <laughs> thorough. I guess some some directors will get up and they really don't care. You know, they'll just do this and let the choir come in. Um, you know, and that's how it is. They'll just let the choir come in. Um, but unless you have somebody, and I knew that I was nobody was gonna feed me the words if I didn't know. Them. Now there's one song, and I'll play it for you um at some some other time, but um, there's one song I had to feed JD, but he knew that I was going to feed him the words because he didn't have a clue of what the song <laughs> Right, right. And that song has gotten close to a million views on wow. on the internet. And he was like saying, what's the words? <laughs> we was, I was like, okay, come I've on. Done and I was, mm, 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 you know, and trying to do it on the slide. You can see me on the video kind of doing some, but that's, that's what you see, <laughs> you know, it was something. Mm -hmm. um, Donald yeah. Weber said something about um, Leslie Bush, and Leslie Bush was the announcer for James during their radio broadcast in the early days, a rich, deep, melodious voice. And let me give you a little history on him. Um, Leslie Bush was the assistant pastor at Prayer Tabernacle when it started. Mm -hmm. So um, a lot of people from Detroit were transplants. You know, when when Reverend Cleveland left and went to to California, a lot of people left and went with him. Eventually, they eventually went out there and you could see them on that Aretha Franklin, um, that movie, Amazing Grace. And I looked in, in the choir saying I was like, I know her, 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 <laughs> her, him, him, him. Ah! Oh, you know, so yeah. Well, so that's where you Sandy are. Sandy Rose, uh -huh. Sandy Rose, are you still working on your book? Your memorabilia collecting. Uh -huh. Well, hurry up, girl. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's right. Um, but you know, it's just a lot of things out here in gospel and gospel music. Um, and and like you said, there's nothing like an anointed director because the members in the choir they feel the power of the anointing illuminating from that director. Mm -hmm. Amen. And see, y'all gonna y'all gonna. I, I went to a class today called I Am Remarkable. I don't know if anybody has ever been to that, but it's sponsored by Google. And mm -hmm. what it is, it started off for like women and underrepresented groups, um, because a lot of times we don't we don't want to say um, that we are remarkable. We we've been taught to say, ah, you know, we you know we did this, and you don't want to say I did that because people will be, oh, well, you think you all of that, you. Right. But so now this is trying to turn it around into saying you could be remarkable, and if you're stating the facts, it's not bragging, right? It's mm -hmm. just That's stating right. the facts. Right. So um, yeah, so that I'm was, remarkable. Uh, yeah, you are. You are. I mean, you know, if, if a lot of times if you told people the pictures that you've taken and the people that you know, they'd be, ah, he's trying to be all of that. No, it's a fact. You just happen to know them. Mm -hmm. God put me there to be with them. It's a I fact. And, and we have to get out of that being... Um, you know, kind of modest and, you know, like, oh, well, you know, um, can you play this? Sit down and say, yeah, I can play it. Here you go. <laughs> you know, um, so we have to start doing a little bit more about tooting our own horn. Mm. Okay. Yep. And, and, and as I put this, this next video, <laughs> but I wanted to tell everybody before, um, um, before we go into the first break, that um, our guest for today is not able to be here. And we are sending up healing prayers um, to uh, to Sister Blinky. Um, and she was so excited about being on the show. And um, we're going to re have to reschedule her and we will reschedule her. But we're praying her strength in Amen. the Lord. She's mending Amen. her nets. 
and um, we will let her get some rest as she mends her nets and we'll reschedule her and bring her back on. But she had a song. I really hate that I didn't play it and I probably should play it anyway, but we'll let the group tell me if we should play it anyway, <laughs> the audience. But play it anyway. this, this particular song was really when I heard the song and saw it, it was just the epitome of perfection. Okay. The epitome of perfection this song was. So I, I was so excited about her coming on today. Um, but uh, she'll be on at a later time. And okay, we're getting some plays anyway. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> but that's, yeah, we're going to go to our break and we've got plenty of topics and we have some questions that we're going to pose to the audience today. Um, and we have plenty of topics to talk about it. So we'll be right back after this song. This is WVTC, the gospel radio station right here in Detroit. And y'all tell me who this is. Y'all
<laughs> All right, now we need a praise break. <laughs> that was yeah, the extended yeah, yeah. version. That was the extended, <laughs> yeah. extended version. Woo! That was the extended version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that was that's the first time I've ever played that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. That's another oldie but goodie. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, they're all. And it'll good. work today. It'll work it, today. It. Oh, <laughs> they still, they're still singing it. Yeah, yeah, still. Yeah, well, singing. Randy Rose, can I say I love seeing a lady direct a choir, and oh, you were directing yeah. that choir. You would make me sing, and I can't even sing. <laughs> 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 That's all right. You can take pictures. <laughs> right, 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 right. You take the pictures. Do what you do. All right. You do what you do. Wait, wait, now I can be in the choir. I'm a background singer. Okay. Do what about. you do. I could be in your do. choir. Okay. I wouldn't sing that high. It'll be so low <laughs> that no <laughs> one could hear you. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> Yeah, and we and so many people on the show were like in the in in the choir. So, um, <laughs> yeah, um, it, it's a lot of people that was on this in the choir. So Tim and his sister Marilyn, um, it, it, it's a lot of people in the choir. I don't want to start calling names because okay. there's a lot of people out there in the choir. Mm -hmm. So um, I think that night we had like 150. The first one we had. 300. Wow. 300. Yeah. 300. How many songs did you, did you direct on that project? Probably about three. Probably about three. Yeah. Now, who yeah. did you collaborate with that? Uh, who, who was in charge of bringing the music? Um, well, we did. Um, those were all songs from um, that had been played before. Um, so they were from Detroit artists, um, and we were celebrating them. Um, so the songs, the, and like that one was actually from Brother Joe May, but it was made famous here in the Detroit area by Reverend Charles Nix. So we were saluting each one of those people. So we did one, we saluted um, Maddie Moss Clark, we saluted um, Reverend Nix, we saluted uh, uh Jimmy Dow on that when we saluted Jimmy Dow because he was gone by then. And it was just a couple years from Detroit Remembers 1 to Detroit Remembers 2. And a lot of people like Hugh Jean was on one. We saluted her. She was dead by, by the time we did too. So mm. I, I learned at that point that um, you always do what you can, why you can't, because you don't know exactly. who, who about to get up out of here before the next. Right, right. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. That's what, and that's what I appreciate about you. You, you are keen enough to to um, latch on to that. I mean, that's not everybody's thinking that way. And you yeah. know, I I got that um, many years ago. I told you in 1968 when um, first. Reverend C.A. Craig died. He died on January the 2nd, 1968. And we were, our family was, was close to, you know, the Craig family. And that kind of did something to me, even as a kid. Mm -hmm. And I realized he was not coming back. Mm -hmm. And so I needed to start, you know, maybe paying attention. But I had no idea that like eight months later, well, 10 months later, my mom would be dead. Mm -hmm. And um, there were certain aspects of her that I did not remember because I didn't know I was supposed to remember it. Mm -hmm. okay. You know, who knew that, you know, a, a nine year old kid, you know, that you're supposed to remember this or you're supposed to. I didn't know that, that parents stay with you forever. That's what they said, mm -hmm. you yeah. know, um, <laughs> I, I, for, especially for kids. Um, so after at that point, I started paying attention to everything i mm -hmm. just start because i did, i knew how quickly things could be snatched away mm -hmm. you, you know, you know so. i can i can tell you the one regret that i have in life just one and that is i never recorded a single whitfield company rehearsal not mm -hmm. one mm -hmm. i never recorded rehearsal not the alto part, nothing. And when he was gone, I was just sick. 
because mm -hmm. I, I, I did not have him on, on, I did not have anything personal. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I, it, you know, it becomes can, important to you. At, and I was like, I can't believe, but because I just did not, cons that never dawned in my mind that God would take him so, so soon and so quick. Mm -hmm. And so right. it's called, we just take it for granted that they're going to be there. And exactly. so when they're snuffed out very quickly, very quickly. It, was, it was quick. You didn't have time to you, process you didn't have time to pray. When I got it, he was already gone. So I couldn't even, there was no, no I, God, no. I need you to heal. No. I didn't get a chance no. to do that. No. It's, no. it's he's gone. I thought mm -hmm. he, he what? what? What you mean? You know, and yeah. to, I have none. None. See, people say, you didn't record. I didn't, and they don't believe. They go, you didn't record not a not a sing. I never recorded a rehearsal. Mm -hmm. Never. And, rehe and you know, rehearsals were intricate. Yeah, yeah. Rehearsals yeah, I'm better, a rehearsal is better than a performance wow. because it's very intricate and in, you get every part explicitly. You get all the details. You get all the dynamics. You do. I, and, I and and when you get a chance to, to, to test folks because one week they may give you one part. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if they're, if they're writing a song as as we speak, and, and we've been and, there and as they. That's he right. 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 But I never, I, I, I never. It never even dawned on me. Yeah. It never. Daddy, can I get my testimony? Jeff, you need to rehearse. You need to record the rehearsals. Never dawned on me. It never came in my mind. Mm -hmm. that's I still well, don't get away. Yeah, and before we go, testimony. before we go oh. right there, um, Donald Weber said he he, um, they used to laugh at him because he recorded everything. See? Yeah, yeah. yeah. See? Go ahead. Um, oh, I was gonna say I'm remarkable, Sandy. You are. <laughs> yes, you now, are. Um, now I, the reason I started taking pictures is because I've never seen a picture of me as a baby. Mm. Um, the first picture okay. I got was when I was in kindergarten, my kindergarten okay. picture. And and so then the next time I started taking pictures when my brother passed, I took pictures at his funeral. And then I noticed we had families that I hadn't seen before, and I started taking pictures. So I would take pictures of everybody just about, almost every day. And like now I have pictures of my nieces and nephew who are about 40 and 50, and I'll show them their baby picture, and they say, where did you get that from? I said, I took it when you were a baby. Can I have it? No, you can't. But <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I have a lot of pictures, history from my church, my school, my fraternity. People just come to me and ask me, to, can they have old pictures? Mm -hmm. So that's just like uh, uh, Sister Pastor Jackie didn't. I said, I'm glad I did. I, I understand this. I wish I had, but it's, it's hey. hey. Sign, uh, hindsight is what? 2020. 2020. They, they, That's right. They, I, and you know, you know, a lot I of people. I can't go back. If I could go back, I would go back and I'd have my recorder because then we had reel to reel. <laughs> right, I, right. I, it was reel to reel, then went to cassette. I would have, I've had it sitting up and I'd have an archive. Wow. Now, I want to know where our, there were a lot of, um, they used to have uh, the reel to reel sitting up at Ford Auditorium. You know, the stage would go down and they right. would sit there and have the reel to reel and record the whole thing. I want to know where those tapes are now. They're What's probably who, who in the them? dumpster. Or in some and people basement. don't realize really <laughs> what they threw away. And so right. that's why now um, we are asking that people look in their basements um, and look for things because we're we're going to archive it for you. Mm -hmm. um, and we're Amen. going to make sure that it's a lasting memory mm -hmm. and not just, um, you know, something that goes in the dumpster once right. once you we, we once you leave this expression your family pick it all up and just throw it away Listen, the Whitfield mm -hmm. company have sought out individuals who came to various concerts christmas concerts or any 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 uh service that we rendered in the city or wherever and we we asked them 
if you happen to want to be one of those people who snuck and recorded, snuck. we would appreciate you now <laughs> <laughs> if you would come forth with that pure gold. Come yeah. forth. <laughs> I have I have something that I mean, um I'm I'm well I um I went to that, do y'all remember the place Sing Mahalia Sing? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Jennifer Holiday. Jennifer Holiday was in it, and most of the music I believe was Richard Smallwood, right? Mm. And child, mm-hmm. I I saw the play maybe ten times. I know. Oh, I, wow. I just would keep going back, and I would take different people like I had never seen it before, you know. And I go to the play with them. And one time I went to the play, and I had my cassette, and I put it in, and I take it. I listened to that thing over and over mm. and over again until it broke. I finally <laughs> broke the tape. Um, but yeah, and 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 we weren't supposed to take it in there. And I knew right, that. Right. I knew that I was wrong as two left shoes. And I asked the Lord to to forgive, forgive me. me. I repented. God, yes, I, 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 I repented. But listen, that music blessed me. <laughs> <laughs> that music blessed me. But now, did you throw so that tape and, away, Sandy? I told it broke. Well, I tore it up. You I can mean, spice it. Yeah, 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 I used some yeah. tape to put that thing back together. I did that a lot. <laughs> and, and now you can put it on a, a on that little drive now. And I the, think there was probably a record. You know, I'm I'm sure it was probably. a record somewhere. You know, right? Um, yeah. Well, I have I have friends who who, who were yeah. You're right. These are true confessions, and they had stuff on tapes. And now my sister is one of them. <laughs> And she has had her tapes put on a drive. Now we like, right on, girl. I'm like, mm-hmm. let me let me hear what you got. We may need that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I like what uh, Marilyn Burrow said. She said that's why it probably broke. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I played it till the wheels fell off. <laughs> <laughs> now, Sandy, and uh, do you do y'all uh, save obituaries? Oh yeah, I okay. save them all. Every one, and mm. and one reason is because I, you know, I make them, so oh. you know, I'll you know use them for you know, I, especially if I find one that's unique, or okay. you know something special, I'll keep it. Um, but yeah, I I I create obituaries. So now, yeah, where do I you put your all. obituaries? Do you put them in a bag in the drawer or where? Mm-mm, I have a a a container that they go in. It's a like a big kind of Tupperware. And uh-huh. they go in into the container. I've got, uh, I've got Alfred Bolden's obituary. Mm. Um, I, I've got all kinds of. All kinds See, that's of recorded stuff. history. Yes, it, it is. It is. Yeah, I keep them too. Yep, Sheila, Ed, uh, Revenue. I I got everybody, everybody. Mm. But mm-hmm. several of them, I I was blessed to be able to do so. Did you uh, come to James Cleveland's funeral? I did not. I stayed at home and I cried all mm. day long. And I had a reel to reel. And I'll never forget. I had a reel to reel. And I had already put all of his songs that, that I had on this reel to reel. And I just sat there um, the day that I heard that he passed. And, and for whatever reason, I don't. I think I was maybe working four days then because I was off work and it was it was cold and i put it in you know and just let it play and i just sat there and cried because i realized what was going on i realized that things were changing um and a lot of times people uh when folks died just like when ed and sheila and different ones bishop craig reverend craig i understood the tide was changing you know and it was going to be a quick change. And a lot of people would be like, oh, well, you know, no, you don't realize what's what's going on right now. This yeah. whole thing is about to change. So right. um, it, it's something. Mm-hmm. It's something. Because um, we have an entire have generation uh, of gospel artists, uh, directors, writers, musicians who are gone from the who have transition from mortal to immortality in Detroit. We have a mega list yes. uh, of 
those legendaries who are gone and, and we're like we're down to like only one or two that actually uh live today and so the the next generation That's and right. the next generation ain't ain't uh, they're not kids <laughs> no no they're not babies yeah, honey. like the like the jeffrey lavalle you know he's not a kid so no. you know that's right you Richard, know. you're right. We have to we have to record this, take pictures, and that's the only I, way the generations following will have it. That's right. I'm going to say uh, a lot of people, you know, you have your uh, cell phones, and my wife would usually take a camera with her, and after the event is, I say, how many pictures you take? And then she said, oh, I forgot to pick up my camera. <laughs> I said, well, why did you bring it? So my point is, if you have a cell phone, use your cell phone. Yeah, yeah, now you can. But right. but don't you have to know how to use it correctly because don't get so lost up, lost into taking a picture that you miss the moment. Right. Mm. Because a lot of times people, you know, are so busy trying to get the get the shot and they looking at their phone, you know, trying to <laughs> get, and you miss the moment. You miss right, the right. moment. Yeah, you were there, but you weren't there. You know, right. So right. you have to be a professional about it as to not yeah. miss the spirit, not miss what was going on <laughs> and stay present because Yeah, I don't take pictures either. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't take pictures. I depend on Michael Fletcher. <laughs> yeah. Because Michael Michael Fletcher takes pictures everywhere. But okay. Michael Fletcher's pictures never come out the camera though. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Fletcher will take pictures all day long, and you know we tease him all the time. Michael, <laughs> let those pictures come out. They they want to come out. <laughs> Free they them. They want to be seen. Free them. Let let them out. Let them be seen. What is it that never been developed? <laughs> no, they never well, come out of that car. Have mercy. <laughs> but it's that's that's an important aspect and you do need to record this history um mm -hmm. and lena put this this post up it's kind of long but we'll leave it up so people can see it but we also are looking for um and and the project uh is bishop woods uh dr pollard uh deborah smith pollard and myself and we're looking for um even church histories if you have the history of your church and it's in Detroit, we want it. Okay. Oh, okay. If yes, we want it. It's it's a living document. It 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 states that you were here, that mm -hmm. this church was viable in right. some some way. Um, it's so many times that I go on the internet to look up people, um, to look up history, to see things. And there's no mention of them on the internet. So even if you have obituaries and you just want to post them, or you know, even the front page, oh, this is my uncle, he passed away, God bless him. That will leave a lasting mark that somebody can find that that person actually was on this earth and mm -hmm. they meant something. You know, right. so um, please, uh, we we want to do. You're absolutely right, Roosevelt. We want to preserve this history, but we need help doing it. So, um, you, you, and even you, and um, yeah, P. Land Baker. Yeah, Bunny did. She did a lot of recording of 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 your uncle's um, information, and you know, some of these people you will never ever ever know the impact that they had and it's something when you google their name and nothing comes up right. yeah mm -hmm. nothing so we we got to do better now that we have an internet um we can do better about that oh yeah oh yeah, yeah. i was kind of thinking about uh you know we've, we've been talking about uh, uh the uh fire in, in tulsa i mean they had living people but did they have anything you wonder written down that was destroyed in the fire who knows right yeah it was all written down and destroyed in, in the, the fire. fire and that's what i tell people now one match can just wipe everything I, out sure you know can. so we need to be very very careful um that we don't let allow one match or one basement flood to mm -hmm. wipe away all of our family treasures 
Right? You know, and just so, like the collapse of the building in Miami, uh, a lot of lives and uh, people's memories were lost when that building fell. Yeah, and I'm gonna tell you, um, too. This is an idea for someone if they want to do it, but they they have companies online that will do it, and I think it's like a treasured memories, a treasured box, and um, they'll take your videos and your pictures and digitize them. Um, mm. If you can do them yourself, go ahead. But if you got VHS family tapes, you need to see about getting that digitized. Before and, they start turning colors. Yeah. You they start turning yellow. Them. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Those Polaroids are not going to last forever. Um, and then on the picture, on the back, or once you post it, go ahead and write who is who. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. so that folks won't come and five years later and say, who that who is. is that? <laughs> and, and you might want to put the year on it, too, when it happens. Oh, yeah. You wanna, yeah, yeah. And that's called archiving. You know, and you want to make a memory because a lot of things that we look up, a lot of great memories that we've had of choirs. I don't think there now there may be, but I don't think there is a picture uh, uh, of a straight head on picture of prayer tabernacle. Hmm. Now, if somebody has it. Holler at your girl. Um, <laughs> but has it changed? It has the building changed? The building is gone. It's gone. Yeah, it's gone. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, sort of yeah. The building is gone. So um, those are things that we need to have. So if you're at your church, just just take a picture of your church because one it'll album come in cover, handy. You know, the one album cover PDD. God has they, smiled on me. They, they're in front of the church, but yeah, yeah. But that's a bunch of people in front, in front of, of the church. I yes, want the, just just the church. church. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so when when we did Somebody the history got a class, old, uh, church bulletin <laughs> could, but with we the, don't with know the cup, with the church on the front. <laughs> yeah, we don't know. So, um, please, ma'am, please, sir, um, just we're gonna do some digitizing <laughs> for you here in Detroit. If you don't know how to do it, we'll digitize it for you mm -hmm. and give you your memory back. And we'll, you know, keep the the digital uh, part of it. But yeah, and you, that's important. That's important. Yeah. You know, to well, be you know able to is, look you back. Know what I'm saying? This is this is what what we need to really realize. The Bible is recorded history. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. The Old Testament chronologically talks from the creation. And then the, the 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 journey of the Hebrew, and then the New Testament gives you the life and journey of the Christ, and then mm -hmm. after that, his disciples what they did. Mm -hmm. You know, it's recorded, written down history. That's right. what it is. Right. That's all it is. And you know, people That's think it it's is. all deep and stuff. At the, the Old Testament is just the history of the Hebrews. Yeah. The mm -hmm. Israelites. The right of the Hebrew. Yeah. You know, so, um, you know, it, you? it is what it is. But please, please don't let these pictures and everything else get lost. Please keep them. Keep them. Yeah. Now, um, we're going to go to a break, but I'm going to play this song. This was um, a song we were going to play today anyway, um, but it's Blinky Williams. And um, she's singing this song. I want you to listen to her tone. Just pay attention to everything. Pay attention to the organ. The organ is Jackie um, from Jackie and Gerald. Richard. Oh, OK. Yes. Jackie Malone. Okay. Jackie okay. Malone. Yeah. She's on the organ. And mm -hmm. Dr. Rodina Preston is on the piano. So just please just 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 listen to it. Um she, it, the song is not over sung. It's just it just, just listen to the song. Okay. Um, right. we'll, we'll be right back. And this is Jesus Paid It All. Um Blinky Williams will be right back and remember her in your prayers. Um, this is WBTC, the gospel radio station. We'll be back. So stay online. Stay online. Click like and click share. Do all of that. Do all of that. <laughs> 
That brother in the background. Sorry, Blinky. Come on, Blinky. <laughs> yeah. What is the yeah. camera, man? And, yeah. And I'm like, you know, I, I don't know why it wasn't purses up in the air. Because when I just saw, and I was like, what can I throw? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and now, Sandy, was, that was history there because that was done at First AME Church. I don't know if you recognize the Claire War singers were down. Yes, yes, front yes. In their yes, red, yes. red hats. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it was. I think it was. Was it Henry Jackson's program or somebody's program? It it was. Okay. Yeah, and they were all singing for it. That's something. Um, she she was just to me <laughs> flat out and the flat, flat footed singing. And the 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 music wasn't overpowering. Powering. They wasn't trying to play every chord they knew. Yeah, you know? right. <laughs> it, it, it was. It there, was there, there is a technique in um, accompaniment because it is you 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 have to be able to follow uh, your soloist because she did that uh, that uh, hey. turnaround at the end. Yeah. The end, and, you know, unless they had practiced with her, they needed to follow her and listen to her and follow her. So uh, that is an art. Yes. That's something yes. they don't have. No, mm -hmm. they don't. And um, they should yeah. seek seek about getting it. Uh <laughs> Wait a minute. And that's, that's whether it's musicians playing with a soloist or musicians playing with the choir. I mean, I, you know, I, 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 I'll tell the band in a minute hold on hold on hold on y'all <laughs> we you accompanying us we're not accompanying you <laughs> mm -hmm. you know yes give me enough to 
you know, I want I want the band to do enough to drive us because you need that music. Yeah, you need drive. them to drive. Yeah, but, you need that musical drive. But I gotta look. stay in the car. Thank you. <laughs> Thank Sometimes you. you're going over rocky roads, honey. I got to stay in the car. So right. drive right. me easy. Right. Okay. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. And then right. and, and and learning how how to play. You play your extra in the empty spot. Okay. Yes. Not, not. You don't play your extra on top of the soloist doing their extra. You play your extra in it. You know, it compliments, not clash. The, the right. solo you, We're you know, here. We're working together. Play, play and, but the the, 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 the kicker on. is they call my name. <laughs> they call, okay. Okay. <laughs> that, just so you know. <laughs> no, they call no, my no, no, wait, So wait, the soloist that's up there singing, that's who they want to hear. Right. They're not trying to hear, you know, they would appreciate if you did a couple things, you know. Right. But right. Mm -mm. and the, uh, who were, we were talking, was it Jeffrey last week? And he mm -hmm. said, don't play the whole introduction, the whole right. song for introduction. Right, <laughs> <laughs> right. right. Yeah, mm -hmm. just you know that they play the whole song for right. an introduction. Well, so, and your yeah. turn, your turn come with the offering. Now let it rip. <laughs> let there it you rip go. Let it rip. Let Open it, it rip. up wide. Let it rip. Let it rip. Let it rip. It rip. While they yep. get the money, let it yep. rip. Now, Sandy, well, do we learn this? Your... <laughs> do do we learn these techniques at the convention, the Gospel Workshop of America yeah. convention? Mm -hmm. You learn how to play with the singers. Okay. Yeah. If you go now, to the do bed, they re either the retain or they don't go to class? Cause mm -hmm. I don't need that class. Cause I already know that. Yeah. So that's why I put my hands up. So nah, I don't know yeah. if they do that or not. It may be offered, but you know, is it? Yeah, I, I already know you? that. You know. So why why would I go to that class? Cause I already mm -hmm. know. And that's the way a lot of people think and you can never i i learn stuff about things that i think i have gotten to the mastery level at mm -hmm. you know but i learn things every day right. you know and you're mm -hmm. always you know learning new things new techniques mm -hmm. if you stay open and yeah, right. people and yeah. you you watch the folks that people are calling for mm -hmm. and it's not the ones that's doing too much Mm -hmm. They're calling for the ones that can stay in the pocket, mm -hmm. play as a team, you know, mm -hmm. um, a team of musicians. Uh, Rudy and Tommy, they never tried to outplay each other. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Complimented each other. No, they were compliments. Yep, compliments. And, and if Tommy did something, then Rudy laid back, listen to the music. And then yeah. you'll see, okay, Rudy did something and Tommy laid back. Yep. You know, so it's, it's something that you have to get but you have to understand your part as a musician, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, I, I and it's to, a lot. Yeah. I used to go to St. James's uh, uh, evening services. I'd go to the night service and the broadcast and all that kind of stuff because I wanted to watch how Jimmy Dow did what he did. Mm -hmm. uh, watching him go from one, especially, I, I love the communion service. That just, made my month to go to St. James's communion service. Oh yeah. And, oh, yeah. and watch how uh Jimmy Dow would would do them songs in that service that would just take you it would yeah. take you from one level to the next level. And by the time by the time you get to the actual communion, you you just the room would just be the Holy Spirit would it's like the ceiling would open up. Mm. And heaven would just pour down, and it was the it was the brilliance and anointing that he had in moving and through those songs. That's the right. appropriate, That's right. the appropriate song, the appropriate, appropriate song for the appropriate and knowing how long to do it and how he would switch it up. It, it you know he would he would strip, switch up the rhythm sometime, and I said, "Who this man? How does he do that?" And mm -hmm. I watched, I watched carefully. I watched yep. carefully and I know how to do it a little bit. Yeah. And I mean, 
I mean, and you can sit it's there nothing. and watch, um, you know, how they pull songs, how yeah. they get them out. Um, the Craig brothers were fabulous for that as well. Um, yep. They can pull the right song in a church setting yep. and burn yep. that church down. Yep. You know? okay. I mean, yep. you know, and we'll pull the right song. Pull the um, right song. So, and, and I left that on the screen because ministry is not a competition. No. It's just not. Do what you do. Do what God told you to do. And then you can, you know, get so much more. But yes. it's, it's not a competition. Uh, um, her uncle, Herbert Picard, never banged that piano. Come on, no. never banged the piano. You know, and it, but the point got across. Trust me. Hmm. The point got across. Ooh. Everybody got quiet so they could hear. Like what, mm. what? What is he playing? Lord, mm -hmm. I know he over there playing something. He playing, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's not yeah, all the time is. in the huh, huh, huh. Sometimes it's in the stillness and the small, yeah. in the just following and flowing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just flow, mm -hmm. just flow. Mm -hmm. Yep. I guess yep. the supposed uh, the people who are you know doing it, they have to make sure that they are sensitive to the spirit. And Come on now, on. you're saying something now. Yeah, you say the whole who is the spirit. That's right. You do have to be sensitive because the the sole purpose is what when I leave. When I leave out, I sh I should feel refreshed, renewed, re you know all those re. <laughs> yeah, you know now something that we did we did we at Prayer church. Tabernacle, and we did it at St. James, and most other churches don't do it. Um, but we never really rehearsed what we were going to sing Sunday. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. We just rehearsed. We might so learn cool. a new song and we just rehearsed. Whichever way the spirit, the spirit. was flowing in the church, <laughs> yeah. that's the song we sang. So you right. have to keep that thinking cap on because it's like, oh, Lord, OK, um, all right, all right. And you always have to be ready. So I would always keep my book with uh, a list of songs because I did took that over to New Light and mm -hmm. I kept the list and I said, OK, what do they know? And I would teach them songs that I knew would work in church on mm -hmm. Sunday morning. And mm -hmm. then it's like if the pastor went one way, we were going right with him. Yeah. We weren't gonna, you know, he not gonna call for offering, and then we sing "Sit Down Servant." Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now you know, Sandy. I was gonna ask you that question. How do you do? You uh, have a or how do you pick the songs, select the songs? Do you want to tell a story? Uh, and first, how many songs do you usually sing within a service? Hopefully, not too many. <laughs> There's no Because <sense. laughs> sometimes no you can sing too many. But you know, growing up at Prayer Tabernacle, I'm gonna tell you, we had a concert every Sunday. Every, every Sunday, Sunday morning. Every, every Sunday. They did four songs in the aisle before they even got to the choir <laughs> okay. Before we yeah. even got to the choir. Before they got to I said, they have sang four songs. And That's ain't, even a, in the choir ain't even in the choir stand yet. And it was a musical church. It was yeah. just, okay. and you have to understand if you go to a church that has, and that's a musical church, Prayer Tabernacle was a musical church. Um, you have to look at the pastor was a musician. St. Mm. James, the pastor was a musician. So mm -hmm. it's a musical church. So you go there expecting music. Now, if you go to another church, you may not get that kind of music. So you have to know the house that you're in. Yes. And you can't bring yes. St. James over here. You got to know what house you're in. Right. Mm -hmm. right. You know? <laughs> so um, and some songs, I would even sing some songs with my kids that I knew were older songs because the congregation was kind of older. They ate those kids up every week because right. you pick the songs for your congregation. Yeah, Not because it's the top 10, you, you have to minister to who you know is going to be that in. That's right. Yeah. yeah. And That's sometimes right. the top 10 don't work. Right. No. Right. Yeah. Especially today's top 10. Ooh. 
Yeah, yeah, Look. yeah. And this is one of my kids. He was like, remember we sung like six songs until Reverend Holly came? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one time, I don't know what Reverend Holly was back there doing. I was like, again? And he was, you know, saying again. And I was like, oh, man. You know? So, yeah, but... You know, it like I said, if if the church is musical, look at your con congregation. What's the median age of your congregation? Mm -hmm. So if, if they're older people, stomp, break every chain may not work. Mm -hmm. may you not. know, may not work. But if you sing Jesus paid it all, baby, they have to go purses. <laughs> <laughs> with money and, in them. With money. <laughs> and they'll have a little something for you that they're pressing your hand. Yeah. Okay. And tell your daughter you bless me on today. And oh, shake your hand. Yeah. I needed to I, I I love what people say to me. I needed to hear that song. Now mind you, they didn't say yeah. I needed to hear that message. They no. didn't say I needed to hear that prayer. No. They that said song that me. song ministered to me. I needed that song. And then understand this. That song is gonna stay with them. All week, nine times up. And you have to remember, a song will draw, but a song they'll sing at home. Nine times out of ten, you're not going to sing a, a, a sermon. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? But that oh, no. song will stay with you. No. And um, just looking at um, what Denise Clark wrote, uh, she said, Unity's um, Dr. Dorgan Needham, and we're, we're yet praying for him, um, was notorious for not singing songs that we were that we rehearsed he always right. watched the congregation and waited for guidance of the spirit and uh, that's so important and that's when you know you have a good music department when mm -hmm. they are sensitive to the congregation don't play to the congregation down the street that's not your congregation your mm -hmm. people are sitting right here play to these people in here mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they you may not want the top 10 they may not they may not want the top 10. your job is to minister Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and you, to a minister, you got to say them. something mm -hmm. that they will hear. That's right. Say That's right. That they need. <laughs> hey, and, and what's what rewarding? Is. What's rewarding sometimes? And I'm not definitely not trying to take any credit, but oftentimes uh, what we sing uh, happens to go with the uh, pastor's sermon, and I don't ever communicate with the pastor as to what he's saying, like, what, what you preaching about? I never do that. It's like this past Sunday, he was talking about order my steps. Uh, and uh, the song we sang before the sermon was lead me, guide me, you know, who knew, right? So uh, the spirit will work, uh, you know, if you if you allow him to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And you well, okay really to ask too sometimes, because I would, yeah. I, said, I would call pastor. Do you have any requests? Now, right. if okay. the pastor, right, right has a request or you know can tell you um next sunday i'm gonna preach about blah 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 well minister of music start thinking in your mind um what songs can i do that enhance because what you want is the people to go home with an in an, an experience uh -huh. right a right. whole experience right um right. and they may that may help them to remember the sermon you know yeah Jay's daddy used to say to me, I'd come in all and say, Hey dad, how you doing today? Let's say, you know, he'd be, let me have, let's have a word of prayer. Let me lay hands on you. Okay. <laughs> Amen. He, and then he'd say, Oh, by the way, I need to hear such and such today. Yeah. And mm -hmm. it may bless them. Well, um, okay. You know. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. And, and just like me and say, they look at me with this, this expression. We didn't curse that. Hey, the pastor say he wanted this song. <laughs> Yep, and, and he said, Miles Clark said, yes, indeed, nothing like those old songs. Those old songs can still tear up a church, and sometimes people would just shout when the musicians started playing songs. They can play the first two, two or three. I can yeah. name that tune in three notes, and it's like, bam, they right. be gone. Off to the race. Da, 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 da. Yep. And it's like, <laughs> uh, the, yeah. hey, the audience would go crazy when Rodina Preston would hit the note for uh, we're on our way. Mm -hmm. As soon as you hit that boom and dun, 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 <laughs> the, yeah. the whole, everybody would stand up. 
yeah. And you do. And that's one reason I liked um, the eight o'clock service a little better than the 11 o'clock service, because the people get with you at eight o'clock. They know yeah. you're not going to sing the song 20 times around. And okay. somebody right. mentioned right. that in their comments. Stop singing the song too long. Um, <laughs> you know, yeah, you can sing it too long. Um, yes, you can. But I, I mean, but if it's oil in the song, mm -hmm. that's one thing. But mm -hmm. for you to just continue to sing it and manufacture something, mm -hmm. you know, that. Uh, you that again. Not, and try to manufacture. Try to manufacture something. something. <laughs> you know, forget it. <laughs> and like Reverend Mother said, maybe the spirit going to come on your song and maybe not. But if he don't get with the next guy, okay. you know, right, right? Maybe the Lord ain't coming on your song today. Right. So, right. The move you know, may not happen while you're on your tune. But, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. So we have to to pay attention to that. Um, but I do have um another. Oh, not yet. I thought I did. Keep talking. I was going to ask Sandy, who's most important in the music department? The soloist. The musician, the director, or the pastor? Oh, uh, well, yeah. I mean, you know, everybody has their part, and it's like saying right. which finger is the most important. Well, I need them all. Right. Okay. Right. Exactly. That's true. So, yeah. I well, yeah, I mean, you, you need a leader. That's one thing. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, you need leaders and you need followers. So I, I, I agree with Sandy. Everybody's important. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, you need the pastor. Um, somebody's got to be in charge of this thing. You need to minister right. music. Somebody's got to be, the pastor has got to be able to say, okay, this is what I want. He's not going to tell the whole choir. I want y'all to sing this song. He's going to say minister music. So okay, that's the next person, you know, then your soloist, you depend a lot on the soloist, but sometimes the soloist is nothing. If, if the background ain't there. Right, you know, right. or the musicians not playing right. the right tune. I've heard soloists and they just had to say musician, baby. Just heard some. It was like, well, my God, you had the right musician. I don't know, Jackie. You remember Leonard Mosley. Um, oh, yeah. He could not sing. Mm -mm. Let's make that clear. He could not <laughs> sing. Perfectly clear. He had a concert. He got three of the baddest background singers in the city, city. and got like Rudy and them to play. And yeah. the concert was a smash hit. Yeah. And it was, you know, it, it's because you can put things together, you know, where things will cover up other things. Right, right. You know, and that's so, what happened. Because yeah. they covered him. They covered him. <laughs> they, they made a person who can't say. They, oh, and they too. they were packed and jammed in the church, and they saw they had tomatoes, apples. They had all kinds of things to throw, <laughs> you know. But again, he face. worked it out. He got three of the baddest girls in the city, and then he he got he got the the best musicians, and they covered it. Yeah, they cover them. Wow. So, you know, wow. just understand that miracles are still being wrought. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yes, yeah, miracles Lee. are still I'll being I'll tell you, wrought. one of my best solos is, is one that I did impromptu. And mm. Thomas Anthony Winfield was on the organ. Baby, he covered me. And behind that, I said, oh, I really can't say it. Or oh, oh, was that him? <laughs> right. It was, it was amazing. I was, And he looked at me and said, Jackie. I didn't know all that was in you. I said it was you. I said, yeah. but what that, he but did, you're feeding off of you. Yeah. Time. What he did, it was like, wow, if I could have you every time. It was yep, wonderful. Yep. It was absolutely wonderful. Because he yeah, knew how to cover you musically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me tell you, let me tell you this little story. I'm gonna let you talk, I promise. We were at an <laughs> event. <laughs> And this lady got up all fancy in her hat and everything. Whitford Company had to, had to sing at this event too. And she got up and girl could not sing a lick. Okay, she really, she could <laughs> not sing. She looked at Thomas and she said, I'm she, I'm going to be singing. She said what her song was. She said, and it's in the key. Hmm. She, <laughs> she okay. up to the mic. This woman probably changed keys <laughs> six, seven, eight times 
through the whole song. Where she went, Thomas went. Where yeah. she okay. went, Thomas yeah. went. When she finished, people were just clapping. Yeah. We were, we were in stitches. <laughs> because it was a lick. <laughs> he couldn't sing a lick. But, honey, but he worked he, it. He covered her. He he covered her. And her. that's when you know you have somebody. Is when you can cover, you know, you can cover yeah. somebody else. I mean, you know, because a lot of musicians just sit back and say, mm, you go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> I wait. You know, I can't find her. It's like, <laughs> see what you can do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there, some, some don't, because I, I really believe some don't know what to do. No. And so mm -hmm. they leave you hanging. Mm -hmm. They just leave you hanging. And That's then you like got the overconfident cheap. one who they're, they're doing the solo. The, the yeah. organ is now the solo. They're doing too much. <laughs> yeah. They're doing too much. All well, right, but um, we do have a song. This is brand new. This is one of our, our listeners today, and um, it's brand new to me. Okay, so <laughs> we're going to play this song. We'll be right back. This is WBTC, the gospel radio station right here in Detroit. Right here, right here, right here, right here in Detroit. When I see those who are suffering every day, so many are dying from this disease, and I just don't know what to say. When the doctors who want to save them can't find a way. My eyes fill up with tears And I fall on my knees and pray When you're quarantined Trapped on the inside When you're told you can't even Step outside Not able to touch each other Not even your father or your mother When we see someone coming We start to run for cover This disease is strong and lethal And only you have the power to save your people. We need your grace. We need your power. We need your help in this midnight hour. When I call on him and I hear no answer, Where is another disease to rival cancer. Is there hope for those on ventilators and in I see you? How can we help them? What else can we do? God said, if my people who are called by my name would humble themselves and pray, 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 pray. 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 then I'll go. 
Right, where is God? He's right yeah. there. He's yeah, right yes. there. That's a great song. Great song. Yeah, yeah. 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 great with the great yes, message. Yes, yes. Thank you, uh, Dr. Donald Weber, for that song. Um, it's a great message. We're going through um mm -hmm. right now, but God is right there. Right there. Mm -hmm. Even wherever right there. whatever question that you have, you say, Where is God? He's right there. He's, He's right, right there. Right a there. very Amen. present help. The, in time of trouble very not just present but very present very very present very mm -hmm. present yes sir yes sir was um, that uh dr donald singing that song or who was singing no that? no he um he named dr. the person Catherine, Catherine um Rachel. 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 oh okay Rachel Rachel Ra Ra Rochelle is good Rochelle. song yeah, it's a good song. Amen. The melody Amen. and it, I, 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 yeah, yeah, it. and and just the premise of the song. I mean, you know, yeah. because you start asking, mm -hmm. "Where is God?" Mm -hmm. You know, now. all of this is going right. All mm -hmm. of this is going on. People were in church. They're dying because they went to church. Because they went. <laughs> Where is God? So I mean, and and it's like he's right there. He's right there. He's there. So. Yeah, yeah, it, it's good. It's good. It's keep good. telling, trying to tell people that God ain't lost. <laughs> you okay. are. No, <laughs> and you don't need. And and yeah, what no. I want to tell them all the time, you don't need to chase him either. Mm -hmm. Okay, he's not running from you. He's mm -hmm. not running right there. <laughs> people say I'm a God chasing. You ain't got to chase God. Mm -hmm. He's not running from you. He's not running from you. <laughs> and he's That's not right. hidden. He's, he's not, not hidden, hidden from you. <laughs> In plain he, sight. Wants to, he wants to get to you. He, he wants you to come to him. You said you right. ain't got to chase it. He's not running from you. No, he's right there. That's mm -hmm. what this song says. Mm -hmm. He's right there. So we just want to thank um thank the Holy Spirit for giving that song um mm -hmm. to uh Dr. Weber for, for such a time as this. Mm -hmm. Such a time as this. Um, we've Later. had a beautiful time today, haven't we? As, yeah, as Daryl yeah, yeah. Houston would say, didn't our hearts boing? <laughs> <laughs> He'd be like, like saying, saying, didn't our hearts boing? <laughs> like, yes, Daryl, they boing. Yes, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Daryl, they boing. boing. And thank you to all of our uh, listeners who had comments, great comments today. We yes, really appreciate great that. Great comments. Yes, yes, yes. And um, we were going to have a contest today about the Good Time song. Um, but next week we will start um, our ticket giveaway. And if you're interested in going to the event that is coming up, yes. Yes, the right. event that is coming up really, 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 really soon, mm -hmm. um, which is August 21st, we'll be right there in the greater Chicago land area with yeah. none other than Bishop Hezekiah. Bishop! 
<laughs> the Bishop, Bishop Hezekiah Walker, and none other than Donald Lawrence and Company. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we'll have Mark Hubbard, um, Crystal Sykes, and our girl, Lanasia Tyson, will be there. Ramon and I are the uh, MCs for the afternoon. We'll be in the park, out in the open, free and clear. It'll be plenty, plenty of air. Uh, amen. <laughs> <laughs> so don't be scared. It'll be plenty of air in the park. So we <laughs> will be there on August 21st. And we want not for you to meet us there. We want you to beat us there. Beat us to Chicago on August the 21st because that's where we're going to be. Mm -hmm. right, Amen. Right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we're looking for all of our WVTC listeners. Um, the concert is for you. The concert mm -hmm. is for you. And also we want to remember while we are remembering that the 88th National Convention of the National Convention of Gospel Choirs and Courses will take place August the 4th through the 7th, 2021. And it's virtual. It'll be right here online. And if you can't find it at their website, guess what? Come right back to where you saw this video today yep. and you will see the National Convention of Gospel Choirs and Courses. We'll be right here for you. So, um, just make sure. And did we have a good time with them yesterday? Yes, oh, absolutely. Did. We oh, did. my God. They were awesome. They and were Pastor, awesome. Pastor Jeffrey's on right now. Okay. Hey, Pastor Jeffrey, they were awesome. Just <laughs> awesome. Um, and we just fell in love with that organization and Dr. Gentry. Um, and this is going to be my new picture that I put up when... Um, <laughs> what? When you when a song has slain you and and put you in the aisle, we will show this picture right here. Mm, mm, mm. I'm gonna tell you guys when that picture was taken. Yeah, um, it was Mama Lou G Mac was here in Detroit. And Mama Lou had, was up on the floor. She was working the floor. And we looked up and he was down. We was like, sink down, sink down, sink down. <laughs> and there was uh, people there from a magazine and they took the picture of this guy in the middle of the aisle. And he was he's just out. out. He's out, baby. Out, just out, just out. So we will be putting that up. If we get a good song, we'll put that up and go straight out with them. <laughs> My goodness. If it All gets right. to you like that, it gets to you. I can't do anything about it. Yeah, just out. Just out. Just out. <laughs> He's out. He got his, uh, he had a, a piece of paper in his hand, but Long he figured that, that I, I won't be needing that because I, I don't want to. And look at the rest of the people, though. Ain't nobody paid him Nobody paid him no Where's the nurses, somebody? Why did I say the this? smelling salt? They said, child, let him, let him stay. <laughs> Ain't no nurses fanning the man. No, he just out. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, Lord. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty good. Because, you know, back in the day, oh. baby, they rushed to you. Oh. They rushed. You had two or three or four. Oh. Man, oh. It, it, oh. and put a little, oh. put, put the sanctified oh. blanket oh. over you. The little oh. curve. Oh. They said, uh-uh, oh. baby, just leave him. He'll be we'll all right. We don't want, we'll want nothing exposed. He'll be all right. Do the, yeah. do do the, the man? Y'all yeah. put, put, put the nobody in there. Because uh -uh. we all kind of felt like falling out. Because um, <laughs> she had wiped us out, baby. She wiped us out. And we was like, oh, if I could just lay down there with him, I'd be all right myself. All right, the, all right. The gentleman that he, he, he right next to that man, and that man ain't, didn't even turn his head. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. <laughs> nobody did. <laughs> No, hey, nobody did. Do y'all do y'all put those uh, curtains over the men too? No, I don't think so. Nah, they just so. do it for they just do it for the women, unless the men have have you know there's something. Unless going they happen on. to have on a robe and don't. Well, no, not even then. They always have their pants on. 
<laughs> so, yeah, I'm, but I'm saying, you know, maybe if they, you know, tied or ripped or, you know, because anything could have happened from up, standing up, going down, you know. I suppose. Okay. Yeah. But who's looking that close, though? That's what I want. Everybody. Yeah. Everybody. <laughs> understand that. Everybody's looking. Everybody. When you get in the middle of the aisle <laughs> and, and dance your little happy self up front. Yep, now yep. you have the attention of everybody. <laughs> I saw something and I may play it um, next week. I, it was on the church funny and I got so tickled I didn't know what. To... <laughs> <laughs> so I might play it next week and it, it's it's people clowning in church. I hope they don't come back clowning, but they will. Right. They, that's, they will, they will. But we've had a wonderful show today. Um, let's go around and do um, a round robin. Um, we can start with Teresa, and then we'll have um, brother with our three names here. <laughs> and then we'll go ahead and um, have Pastor Jackie. Well, I just wanted to say I have enjoyed today's show. Uh, we had to flip the script a little bit today, but the Lord was with us, and so we thank him for that. And like I said earlier, we thank everybody for being here. Our new people uh, Amen. Amen. today, welcome to the show. <laughs> we do this all back. the time. And please come back. Uh, we're here every Monday and Tuesday at 5 o'clock from 5 to 7. So uh, please tune in again. And we thank you for all your comments. And uh, we're just going to just uh, ask you to, to, to come back again and, and blessings on you. Um, and whatever you're doing. Thank you so much. Amen. And even those that are incognito, we love you too. Thank you. Yes, yes. yes. Um, I just want to say God has been good to me always. And I want to thank Sandy Rose again for this opportunity to be here with Pastor Jackie and my friend Teresa. I found out today I am remarkable. You are the remarkable. Lord keep me humble. <laughs> you are. And you are. Say it three times. <laughs> yes. All right. But I just want to say I have a friend out there, Georgia Bentley. She's going to represent me at the concert in Chicago. She's been, I've, been role. I've been taking role. She's been here. For, uh, for <laughs> yeah. 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 I've seen her. I've seen her. Yes. And Dr. Weber, I'm coming to get that shirt. But anyway, uh, I had yeah. a great day here today. Thank you again. Amen. Amen. Well, we simply say, I will bless the Lord at all times. And I That's that past in you coming continually out. be in my mouth. This yes, has Lord. been an awesome show. Just, just sharing. Just mm. sharing. We yeah. pray that those of you who tuned in, that you, are, you were blessed by what was said. And yeah, click like, click share. And we <laughs> thank you so much for all of your support. Bless you, Lady Sandy. We love you. Love you too. Um, and, and it's just been a wonderful, a wonderful, a wonderful day. Um, God bless you, Roxy. Um, stay cool. Uh, she in town. Know. Oh, she's in town. Okay, well, you gotta stay town. cool. Stay hot, honey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we if you here, we want you to stay hot because uh it looks like it's 80 degrees out there right now. But everybody, um that has tuned in you just don't know what you mean to us mm -hmm. um if i could just come and give each one of you a million dollars i really would i really really would um you you encourage us you keep us moving you keep us going um and you know they say we're here for you but you're here for us mm -hmm. trust me um, Amen. and we live on your comments um, and we live on your likes and shares. And so we say thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, share this broadcast as far mm -hmm. as it can be heard. Um, if it helped you, it'll probably help somebody else. So please like and share it. Um, you know, we love you. And there's absolutely, yeah. I see those hearts going up. Oh, y'all make our hearts feel so glad. So glad. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, amen, Dr. Arthur Thompson. Um, and, and Michael Peters is... You, some people have stayed with us, I mean, from the bell, 
Mm -hmm. from the bill we had our roxies and uh lena brown and and and, yeah. and roosevelt and faithful, and everybody faithful. yeah they were just faithful Consistent. and and yeah michael he's he just every week we can depend on them so we just want to say thank you and um you know i i i just it as they say if i could get a million dollars you got it too um, thank you, Judy Thompson. Um, and we're so glad to see so many people from the Gospel Music Workshop of America Amen. that are online. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. And Marilyn Burroughs, everybody, the Burroughs people, er, er, everybody, Lottie, everybody. Dottie, and everybody. everybody. Um, Yvonne, um, Evie. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Those people Shirley are here. Johnson. Shirley, Shirley, Evie. Mm -hmm. um, my uh gail they were here from the bill when we started um so we mm. just want to say thank you thank you thank you regina mm -hmm. um thank you thank you thank you for what you've done um this has been a wonderful broadcasting week we'll be back with you lord say the same next monday um and next monday we'll have our special guest and we will have elder bishop Victor Beauchamp, and if you don't know uh, Victor Beauchamp, you you will by next Monday. Trust me, trust me. <laughs> and then we will have on Tuesday Kim Anthony Morrow, and um, we will move on from there. But we thank you so so very much. We love you, and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. Bye. We'll catch you on the flip side. Night night. I see y'all. Night night. Night night. Night night. night, 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 night. Listen night, to the crowd. Night. They're so night, loud. Night. <laughs> they so loud.
you for listening to The Sandy Rose Show with your host, Sandy Rose. If you have enjoyed this broadcast, won't you consider liking and sharing this with a friend or family member? We'd love for you to share it on your Facebook page. Thank you for tuning to WVTC Radio Detroit. Remember to like and share this broadcast with a friend. We are WVTC, winning victory through Christ. You're listening to WVTC, Gospel Radio Detroit.